Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is about ligase enzymes. If you want to skip to any particular section of this video, you can do so by clicking the timestamps found in the description section below. Please also make sure to subscribe and like this video as this helps out our channel a lot. Okay, let's get to the video. Ligase enzymes are one of the six classes of enzymes. You know that this is a category of enzymes because it ends with an "-ase", as in ligase. Ligase enzymes act as a cellular glue. They scan molecular strands such as DNA strands or RNA strands, identify their gaps, and stitch them back together. They are the repair workers of the cell, so they ensure that our genetic material remains intact. There are different types of ligase enzymes. These include DNA ligases and RNA ligases. Each has a specific function. DNA ligase takes part in DNA replication. Each time our cell replicates, our DNA needs to be copied perfectly. But sometimes, the replication machinery leaves tiny gaps between DNA strands. This is where DNA ligase comes into play. They facilitate the joining of DNA fragments together by catalyzing the formation of phosphodiester bonds. The phosphodiester bond forms between the phosphate group of one nucleotide and the deoxyribose sugar of the other nucleotide. During DNA replication, on the lagging strand of the replicating DNA, short fragments called okusaki fragments are synthesized. DNA ligase is essential for joining these fragments into one continuous strand. DNA ligase also takes part in DNA repair. Ligase enzymes are involved in DNA repair mechanisms such as base excision repair, and nucleotide excision repair. They seal the damage that arises during these repair processes by using energy from ATP or NAD plus to catalyze the ligation process. The enzyme first binds to the gap in the DNA backbone. It then catalyzes the formation of the phosphodiester bond between the three prime hydroxyl group of one nucleotide five prime phosphate group of another, thus sealing the gap. Another type of ligase enzyme is RNA ligase. RNA ligase takes part in RNA metabolism. They play a crucial role in RNA processing. RNA ligase is used when RNA molecules are being edited and prepared for various functions. Some examples include tRNA splicing, mRNA capping, and joining of RNA pieces together. In tRNA splicing, RNA ligase joins the exons after introns are removed, creating functional tRNA molecules. In many organisms, tRNA genes contain introns, which are non-coding regions within the initial tRNA transcript. These introns must be removed to create a mature and functional tRNA molecule. After the introns are removed, the resulting tRNA exons are ligated to form a mature tRNA molecule. RNA ligase plays a critical role in the final step of tRNA maturation. It ensures that functional tRNA molecules are produced and ready for their role in protein synthesis. RNA ligase also takes part in mRNA capping. mRNA capping is a post-transcriptional modification process that occurs in eukaryotic cells. The mRNA cap is a highly methylated guanosine modification of the five prime end of the RNA molecule. RNA ligase is involved in the last step of this process, which is the linking of the cap to the mRNA. This involves the formation of a unique 5 prime 5 prime triphosphate linkage. And that concludes this video. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Bye!